Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. ¿Qué pasó? Pero tú, do, do you have your license and insurance? Yes, sir. I have insurance. Can you open that window first? Oh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Sir. You have your insurance with you? Yes, sir. I'm getting that for you right now. There you go, right. boss. Where are you coming from today? Coming from work. I'm on the ranch with Andy. Andy. Yes, sir. What do you do over there? I uh, fix, pick up fences, fix fences, or the cattle and all that won't come out. And do you have yes, your driver's license with you? Yes, sir. Sorry about that. Is this your vehicle? This is my fiance's. What's your fiance's name? It's uh, Veronica. Okay. Veronica. Do you have any weapons with you? No, sir. I, all I have is just my knife that I use here for work. Oh, okay. That's, uh, That's all I use. Money over. Do you, do, can you do me a favor? Just put it on the dashboard there right there go. for me. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, Good. Any money over $10,000? No, sir. Any drugs? No, sir. No? Not a drug addict. Okay. Don't even drink. Okay, no, so um, the reason I pulled you over, your yes, license plate doesn't come back to any vehicle. Okay. And uh, do you know why that is? Uh, well, my fiance had it fixed up, mm -hmm. so she told me that license plates were okay. That everything was good? Yeah, she told me everything was okay, that's why I was using it. Do you, do you have the registration for it where, where it has a VIN number? Yes, sir, I do. This, the, this paperwork right here too. All right. So if every if everything checks out fine, yes sir. Um, you know I'll let you go. Yes, Can you, do you give us permission to search your vehicle? Yes sir. I'm gonna uh, exp explain it to you again. You're yes, gonna sir. get two citations yes, sir. and one warning. So one citation for no driver's license, yes, sir. another one for uh, fictitious license plates, a warning for expired registration. Yes, I said I could have arrested you and taken you to jail. I'm just gonna give you a ticket, all right? Okay. And we're gonna, we're gonna take your vehicle because you can be driving. Yes, sir. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna drive the vehicle to the port of entry. Yes, sir. One of us is gonna go in front of you and the other one in the back. If we see that you want to run, that's not going to end up well for you. Oh, no, sir. You understand no. that? Yes, sir, I understand. Okay. No, sir, and you have some problem, maybe we take uh, x-ray to the truck? No, I don't have no problems, you know. Just like they told me, the truck was okay. You know, yo confie. I, I, I have, I had trust issues with, you know, you know, okay. No, hay ningún problema si la no I don't, don't have no problems to say it. You know, with my permission, I don't mind y'all okay. take it and do what right. you gotta do. So you're gonna, you know you're, I mean? you're gonna drive it for us over there, yes, all right? Sir. I sure will. And then from I'll there, yes, sir. Uh, we'll yes, see what happens, all right. So and, you know, I got my kids, yes, look at me, important. Okay. You know, I don't wanna end up going anywhere, doing something that I'm not supposed to. You know, I don't wanna end up with any problems or anything like that, because, 
No, no te right. voy a mentir, viejo. So Tengo you... alguien que... He's... All right, you, you have till May 10th to contact the judge, Judge Bishop. Yes. Her phone number is right there at the bottom of the ticket. This would be Understand each of these rights? Yes, sir. Have these rights in in um, in mind? Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us? Talk to me. Yes, sir. Answer some questions. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you willing to to give us a thing? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me what happened. <clears throat> looking for work so I could have money for my family and have what my kids and everybody needed at home. So I was around looking for work and and when you say worker, worker for who? I don't know his boss's name but uh, I know okay, he's up and down. So and and you say worker, but worker as far as what? Is he in construction? Is he in, or or what do you mean with worker? Well, uh, like I know, okay, he moves around. I found uh, when I slept with kid that he was crossing people. Okay, so he's he's working as a human smuggler. He's the one that. Yeah, and you know I was and when when I when he told me about work, I was like, okay, you know, like yo pensé un jale honesto or something. De eso, and he's like, well, my boss is looking for somebody you know, to just take a ranch truck down downtown until hasta que yo pegue, you know in person to see what really, what it was. The idea is when I was like, hey, I didn't want anything to do with it, but, you know, it was to do that or it was my family. Okay. For me to transport a truck to Odessa. Okay, I did, I mean, I can ask my friend right now to take my truck to Odessa, right? But you need you need to be a little more uh, specific. A truck. A truck with uh, three people. With three people. Yes, so he told you he was gonna have three people. When I got to the. When I got to location with the truck, that's when I knew that there was. Three and the location with the truck was where. The location of the truck was like. The Las Conchas. That's what. That's so what was it in Mexico still? Yes, sir. it was still in Okinawa. Okay, so how did you end up from Ojinaga, from that Las Conchas or Ojinaga? How did you end up in in the United States, where we stopped you? Because when I was in the razor, when they took me, they took me like por un un dirt road. They said that's where it was the colita según Las Conchas. Y luego? Y de allí, pues, que ya estaba en la otra parte, en la otra parte del borde. So the truck was already in the United States? Yes, sir. Okay. And he had already had the people in? Yes, sir. Or, or did you see whenever they put them in? I was able to see when they were already loading the people in. And wh where was that? In Mexico or in, in the U.S.? It was in the... In the Sierra, I see like all the rancho, in Las Conchas. Okay, but was, whenever they were loading the three individuals, was the truck in Mexico or was the truck in the U.S.? On that part, no puede decirte si si estaban en Ojinago o en Texas, porque era puro árboles, todo cerrado. That's, that's so, what I was able to know. When you were going in the race or to the truck, when you got to the truck, 
they were low in the people and you you were able to see it right yes sir. right did you cross any water any rivers whenever you were in the racer when i was in the racer you know must can say ver como like you know como cuando se lleva agua la tierra que se quebra mm -hmm. that's all i was able to see pero no había there was no water or anything pero pura tierra that's it puros árboles a lot of trees with thorns yo creo puro mezquite but you're not sure if it was in mexico or in the u.s yes sir i see to tell you the truth that, uh, i don't know if it was in u.s already or if it was still in mexico porque ya era puro como si se iba a desert ya okay puro tierra todo Okay, so after that, they loaded the people, and then what did you do? And from there, that is on the main here, and like, well, this is what you're going to do, this is what you're going to take, make, and everything's clear. Y que tienes que llevar a esta gente, si no, si no haces lo que tienes que hacer, you know, your family's the one that's going to. Okay, so they they offered they were gonna pay you, and they also told you that they were gonna do something to your family. Supposedly they were gonna pay me when the man, when I got there with them. How much were they gonna pay you? They told me it was gonna be fifteen hundred, supposedly. Fifteen hundred per person? No, fifteen hundred. Uh, uh, on everything. Yes, sir. So one thousand five hundred dollars. Yes, sir. I just met him when I was doing a barbecue with my family under the point. Like under the point. Of under the, the bridge. bridge. Yes, sir. Okay, and, and he got there and you met him there. Yes, sir. Him and his dad. Okay. So his dad is involved too? Mm, not that I know, sir, that he hasn't been. No, sir. Okay. You got in the racer to the vehicle. You you saw the people getting loaded. Uh, what happened after that? After I seen the people getting loaded, uh, the one that was driving the racer had a widow. He was big, stocky. Do you know his name? I don't know. Que le decían el el cucho o algo así like that. Okay. And then what happened? And from there, that's when he told me, well, this is a truck you're going to take to Odessa. And de allí, yo me hice para atrás. And I didn't have nowhere else to go. He estaban, you know, armed. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have anything. Which I didn't expect anything. Okay. You know. You know, I was going to go work at the rancho and this and that and all that. So I went down there and I'm like, okay, it's that bueno, you know, I'm going to go to the rancho, we are animals and work and all that, you know. And when I got that, I saw that, and he told me that, hey, you're going to take these people to Odessa, you know, you're going to go straight to Odessa and back. When you get when you get there, that's when you get paid. Okay, where in Odessa did they take it to take him? They told me to take it to the direction that was supposedly on the paper that said it, on the insurance paper. So to the address in the insurance paper of the vehicle. Yes, sir. Okay. And then, what happened? And from there, <clears throat> yo, I told him, you know what, hey, yo no me quiero lucrar nada de esto. Le dije, yo tengo familia, tengo mis hijos, and I don't have no problem. Le dije, no, pues, tú estabas consiguiendo jale, pues, le dije, yeah, but, you know, yo estaba buscando un jale honestamente, que me dijeron era de rancho. Le dije, yo, ustedes no están saliendo con esto, le dije. Uh -huh. Ustedes no están saliendo con esto, le dije, yo no, 
Yo no quiero problemas, en serio. Le dije, pues, no te podemos dejar ir. Le dijo, tienes que hacer este jale o eres tú y tú. Now what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go to the hospital, get you clear for your medical problems, and then we're gonna take you to jail.